Right, let's move to our next uh, discussion for the day. The battle for the soul of the All Progressives Congress in Kaduna State isn't ending soon. The Akira faction of the party says the state's local government delegates process was a sham. Made up of Senators Suleiman Hunkuyi, Sheo Sani and other party faithful, the APC Akira has petitioned what it describes as a truncated process. At a news conference, the senators allege the Nasser El Rufai faction has hijacked what was supposed to be a democratic process. And just as the briefing was going on, thugs invaded the Kaduna State Council of the Nigeria Union of Journalists, venue of the briefing. PC and Kaduna State welcomed the outcome of the Congress, an exercise that demonstrated and consolidated the party as a united entity, vibrant and supportive of the value brought the APC intervened. We will not in any way, in any way, to the red accept or endorse any dark room list prepared in the palace of the government house of Kaduna State. And joining us on Skype is the acting publicity secretary of the All Progressives Congress in Kaduna, uh, Salisu Wusono. Thank you for joining us on the show. Uh, you were credited uh, to saying that there was indeed a Congress and those delegates were voted. But the Akita faction is saying that there was no Congress. So clarify now where the, the election took place and the process uh, that got uh, the delegates to emerge. Uh, good morning, my dear countrymen and women. In the first place, I want to put it on record. I will just answer this question because I want our people to understand what is going on in Kaduna State, not because of those who are aggrieved. Why? Because they call, their, their, they call themselves APC Aikida, and as far as I know, we don't have anything like APC Aikida. If you go through the concern of APC, Apart from the APC, all progressive congresses, there's nothing, nothing like AIDA. So, but for the interest of the general public, I will entertain your question. What those people are saying, they are just saying something based on their interest. All we know, we have had a congress, which if you see the constitution of APC, Article 20A3, it has provided for the selection or election of party positions via election or consensus, which we believe what we have done is aligned with the concern of the All Progressive Congresses APC. We have conducted that election through consensus. All right. Uh, it's, it's good to know. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, the fact that there's nothing in APC that uh, means Akita, but can you make us understand, for those who are not in Kaduna and other Nigerians who are following this program, what does Akita mean? I don't even know. This answer could be best asked by the people, those who created it. We know we are under APC, which we know registered by INEC. So we don't actually know where they have found their APC Aikida. All right. By saying that uh, the delegates were elected uh, through consensus, are you, in, in other sense, saying that uh, there was no election, they were selected? Please clarify. As I have said, you can either select a delegate through election or by way of consensus, which we have adopted our own in Kaduna State through consensus. We have made with the stakeholders, all party leaders from various local governments, and we have unanimously agreed to have our list of delegates through consensus, which we have did on Saturday. All right, in the, in the process of uh, uh, having a consensus, like you said, was the presence of the national body, uh, the National Secretariat of uh, APC, were they present to monitor the process in Kaduna State? Yes, of course. They have sent a delegation of five men, which they were in Kaduna since on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I think they left Kaduna yesterday, Tuesday. All right, we understand that, uh, of course, it's a lingering crisis, really, rift between the governor and uh, the Senator uh, Sheo Sani, but 
Uh, he made an accusation uh, up until this time that uh, vacant positions in the state's party were practically filled by uh, the governor. Uh, so tell us first off, because he said the deputy governor f for a long period was the state chairman of the All Progressives Congress, which is not supposed to be so in the constitution of the party. Sheo Zaini have nothing to say, have nothing to contribute in respect of our party because he has been suspended right from his word since on the 25 December 2016. Up till now, he stands suspended. So I don't think he have any say in any issue related to our party, all progressive congresses, APC, in Kaduna State. All right. If, if he doesn't uh, uh, have anything to say from, from, being, uh, from what you said, being suspended, how about Senator Hunkui? Uh, okay, if you see, maybe we can even accommodate what we can say. But all what we will say, they are not, they are, they are, they are just elected persons. And I know we have a party, we have a Congress in a state, and we have a convention at national, and we have a party constitution. And what supersedes all of these are uh, Congress in the state or convention in the national. So whatever this chin or whatever they would say, in as much as we are in line of the provision of our constitution of our party, I think we have superseded whatever they would say. Whatever grievances they have, there are proposals which if they feel agree, they can follow. But I want them to know that no any elected officer or elected in, in, in a political party that can act above the function of the party or the Congress. All right, let, let me ask you again so I can get your response. The members of the executive of the All Progressives Congress in Kaduna State, uh, were they put in the positions of, of the party or were elected as stipulated by the constitution of the party? Uh, during, our, during our exercise, uh, when we intended to conduct, I mean, to to elect the, the, the party officials, we will try to have it through consensus, which that one was not possible. So we have to go for election. As I have said, you can elect as, uh, people through election or consensus, where all the, 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 the concerned parties have agreed. So in 2014, we couldn't make it so. We have to go for an election, which most of those people are aggrieved with our delegate uh, with, with our delegate election of uh, uh, this, uh, this year. Somebody like Tommy Ashi, he have contested for a chairman of the party, which he, he failed. So we we elected through election, not consensus. But this time around, in the issue of delegate. We have unanimously agreed to have our delegates through consensus, which we have did. All right, but now that there are there are disagreements from em emerging from this uh, 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 Congress, uh, does it not seem obvious that uh, the consensus was not part of the consensus of every member of or stakeholders of the party? You see, politics is a matter of number. I don't see any reason why some few individuals can strike what thousands of people have done. Local government ESCO, some of our stakeholders, statutory members, such as the State House of Assembly, past and the presence, and also former House of Representatives, state executive members, if you at the numbers, I think they are more than those who are agitating of this uh, 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 delegate process is, 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 is not accepted by them. So we cannot take the minority, keep aside the majority. This is not politics. 
But as a party that came to power and uh, uh, preaches uh, unity and, of course, a strong base, don't you think this could cause the party a lot in that state if all members are not brought together? Because it seems that you are even aligned to one part of the faction. Not that we are aligned to one faction. Our reason is that we have seen those people with their belief, with their interest, and we have watched the government, the government activities and the earning of the people, the good people of Kaduna State. So we as a leaders, we're supposed to be a custodian of the party constitution as well as our party manifesto. The APC administration in Kaduna State is fully taking course in fulfilling our campaign promises. And then, as leaders and humble servants of our people, we have to go in line with the government that is, fulfill that is fulfilling our campaign promises to the good people of Kaduna State. Because if you see the manifesto of our party, it said, democracy to be stable and meaningful must be anchored on the government that carried its activities in the interest of the people, not in the interest of some group of people. So what the APC administration under Malam Nasr Ama Erfai is doing in Kaduna State is fully fulfilling our campaign promises. We have to go in line with that policy. All right. Uh, yeah, let's put you on hold. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, yeah, let, let's put you on hold, uh, 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 Salisu Usono. Let's put you on hold a little. And uh, we have joining us from our Buja studio, Senator Sheu Sani, representing Kaduna Central. Senator, it's good to have you join us on TVC Breakfast this morning. Thank you for having me. All right. First of all, make us understand, uh, when we started earlier on, uh, the publicity secretary of the APC in, in Kaduna State, uh, Salisu Usono said that uh, the, uh, the word Akida, which uh, you are part of, uh, APC Akida, is, is unknown and strange to the APC constitution. Can you make us understand uh, what is Akida? Let us know from, from, from those who are following this who are not from Kaduna State. Well, thank you very much for having me and having me so late here. Well, first of all, the person on the screen was never elected as a publicity secretary for Kaduna APC. He is a shoe shiner, picked up by Nasir El Rufai on the street, and made to be an acting. He has no certificate to show that he is a publicity secretary. Now, this is the kind of politics that is played in Kaduna. Nasir El Rufai gives an image of a technocrat who wants class, who wants things to be done rightly. He picks people who can barely speak English in order to sell his point. The man on the screen could not even differentiate between being a spokesperson of the government and spokesperson of a political party. You have two people in a party, two camps, warring camps, and if he is a party official, he's supposed to be fair and objective. But he is here on the screen, acting and speaking as a spokesperson of the government of Kaduna State. Now, this is to show you what is happening. Now, what they did in Kaduna was simply to sit down in their rooms, drop the names of their pimps, their concubines, their friends, and their girlfriends, and now prepare it to send it to Abuja APC Secretariat as a consensus list. There was no Congress election in Kaduna State and there is no APC executive in Kaduna State. Out of the 23 members of the APC elected in 2015 to serve as executive of the party, 18, 18 of them are members of the executive of National Affairs government. The person that's supposed to be the chairman of the party he is now the deputy governor of the party. Unfortunately, the man on the screen who's calling himself Tonko Osono cannot even speak a good English. Now, this is the person who Nasir El and myself would say a person is speaking for our party. What they did 
in Kaduna. His Nasser Erufai appointed his political advisor to sit down in their rooms and draft names. Now, this is 2017, this is 2000, not 1999. All right, Senator. When Nasser Erufai left the PDP, what they said was that they left the party because of injustice, because they were marginalized, because they were ostracized, and also on. Now, they came with the same character, all the same content, the same ideas. The same misdeeds of the PDP, they are bringing into APC. We cannot change Nigeria if we will sit down in our rooms and write the names of delegates and now claim to be elected. Senator, now, let me come it. in here. We held a press conference as an Akida group. We are APC Akida, and why we created that group is simply to register our objection to the way in which Nasser Rifai is pocketing the party in that very state. And our position is very clear. We went and met the national chairman of the party and told him we cannot accept it, we cannot endorse it, we cannot embrace it. We will not accept somebody sitting in the room writing names of delegate because he's afraid of election. It is now two years, two months since we took over in power in Kaduna in 2015. Nasir Rufai, the man you see on the screen who portray himself as a man who knows everything, an intelligent man, he can't even conduct a local government election. This is what we are saying. Okay, Senator, please let me come in here. Our press so, conference, Nigeria Union of Senator, they besieged the premises. They entered. Senator, let me ask you premises. another question break because you, of time. Uh, yeah, all, all right, many Senator, supporters. Senator, Senator Sani. Senator, uh, all right, let's put you on hold a little so we can uh, yes, make understand it more each robust. other. Yeah, uh, Sally Suwusuno is listening to what you were saying, so I uh, will give him time to respond later on. But uh, many, many, many people in Kaduna, and of course, some Nigerians are saying that uh, you are just. In pieces with its principal, Nasir Rufai. What they did, they sent thugs to surround the Nigerian Nigeria Union of Journalists. Uh, all right, Senator. And start attacking everyone there because we are holding a press conference. Yes, Senator. Senator. Nasir Rufai is a tyrant, a fascist, Senator. a Nazis in Kaduna State. Senator Sani. Senator Sani. Senator Sani. Senator Sani, sorry, uh, let, let's, let's understand each other so we can exactly, uh, take exactly. you forward. It's supposed to be uh, conversational. Uh, please listen to the next question. Many are saying that you are only bitter and kind of jealous of the governor because according to you, you were pressured to step aside for him to be able to run for the governorship position of the state. Well, let me tell you, that is a different thing. Well, the, now, I used to be the only person who is criticizing Erufai. Now we have the second senator, Senator Suleiman Hunkui, who was his director general of his campaign. We have on our table about eight members of the uh, House of Representatives, and we have a petition which we wrote to the National Secretariat, which has about 10 members of Kaduna State House of Assembly. They appended their signature there. Now, is it because I wanted to be governor? If not because of Buhari, how can Nasir Erifai be a councillor in Kaduna State? That is what we are saying. He doesn't know Kaduna. He came in here with his Britain Woods ideas. What I said about Nasir Erufai would be seen to be sentimental. But please go to Kaduna, ask your correspondent, the, the TVC correspondent Kaduna, let him go to the public and ask them about the views of the man, and he will tell you the truth. Right now you are a journalist. About five journalists are in, on trial. One of them is in jail for writing stories critical of Nasir Erufai. So what are we talking about? Is that a Democrat? Is this the kind of change we promised Nigerians? Is that the person that should be aspiring to be a president or a vice president if Buhari doesn't, is incapacitated? Because that is the plot, that is the scheming they are doing. He is, he, is, he is not a person that's supposed to be a progressive. And these are the kind of people we gather as progressives. They complain of the PD, PDP are thieves, PDP are criminals, PDP are... Now, this is a person who served about 13 years of 16 years of PDP. Now he's the governor of Kaduna State, demonstrating all those things which they have been doing at that very time here. Now, I don't need to be a governor of Kaduna State. I don't need to be a senator in 2019. But what I'm telling you very clear, that from my background as a civil rights activist, I will not fold up my arms and see the mockery of democracy. If we are to do things rightly in this country, we must not be hypocritical of what we do. There is nothing the national edifice of this world have not said about Jonathan Goodluck and the PDP. Now look at them. What are they doing here? He has about five journalists he sent to court. One of them is in prison. Luca Binyat is in prison. For what? For writing stories. So what I'm saying in, as far as I'm concerned is that if we are going to get things right, we must do things right. If APC 
will serve as an example to this country and the future, it must do things right. You can't sit down in your room, write the names of your girlfriends, pimps, and concubines, and bring them and say it's an MPC. Well, that's all right. now <laughs> accept it. Uh, all right, Senator. Accept it. All right, Senator Sandy, let's put you on hold and hear from uh, Salisu Wusono before we go on uh, the news update at top of the hour. Uh, well, Salisu Wusono, I, I know you've been listening to uh, Senator Sani, uh, everything he has said. Now, one thing he said categorically is that uh, the, the, you said there was a consensus and every, uh, it was a consensus of the party election for... Election through consensus. Uh, exactly, it was an election through consensus. Mm -hmm. But uh, Senator Sani is saying that uh, names of people were just written and compiled. Uh, what have you got to say about that, uh, uh, Salisu? As I have told you earlier, Sheo Sani is a suspect. Is, it, he has been suspended from the party over one year. He may not know the details, activities, and any other things concerning our political party in Communist State. He cannot attend meetings. He cannot even, in fact, he is totally outside the scope. He stands to be suspended. That is what I'm emphasizing. He is presently suspended from the party. How do you expect somebody who has been suspended from entering one house and then to keep, to, to, to keep you informed of the furnitures on that house? It's not possible. He can only tell you lie. Because he don't have access to that house. He don't have, he don't have the idea. He don't, he don't know, he know nothing. He is suspended. So for whatever he will say, I am not here to drag or to have any uh, 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 argument with him. Because I know he don't know what is inside APC right now in Kaduna State. All right, uh, you can, you can, um, Let's just, before we, I think we, get, we have time for one more question before we yeah. go before the news. All right, Senator, I want to ask you about the petition you now wrote uh, against the state party to the National uh, Secretariat in Abuja. Do you have confidence, really, that justice will be done to this? Because this brings to mind what happened in Ondo during the primary, uh, primary of the party as well. Uh, there were people that accused the, the state party of manufacturing about 360 delegates so do you have faith in the national secretary, uh, the leadership of the party to do justice? Well, uh, we have presented our own petition, but I will have to dress down this man here who is a fake publicity secretary, Parede Banasue Rufai. Uh, first of all, I will say it very clear. He was never a publicity secretary. I was never suspended from the party, confirmed from Oyegun, confirmed from national secretariat. They simply want She Usani to be silent, so the best thing they can do is to say they suspended him. Nasu Redfai demolished the house of the zonal vice chairman of the party, Inu Ablik Adr, because the man said what you are doing is wrong. And secondly, go back to your question, we have forwarded our petition to the National Secretariat, and it is left for them. The question in the PDP before, before us is that, it is either we do the right things or PDP will head to, uh, APC will head to a crisis in Kaduna State. Nasir Edubai is at war not with only Sheh Usani, he's at war with Christians in southern Kaduna. He's at war with traditional rulers in Kaduna. He's at war with religious leaders in Kaduna. He's at war with civil servants in Kaduna. Go to the street, go to the market, go to the motor park, ask them about him. This is the kind of person, this person he paraded as uh, publicity secretary. Now, this is a man who said to be himself a technocrat. We are making it very clear. APC is a divided house in Kaduna. We call one APC government house and APC Akida. If Shea Usani is not with Nasir Edifai, why is another senator, Senator Sulema Hunkui, who was the director general of Nasir Edifai's campaign, why is Sulema Hunkui now also with Shea Usani? Ask that question yourself. All right. All right, Senator. Said, not yeah. To, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, Senator, let, let's put you on hold because uh, there is, there's so much we need to understand from mm. what is going on. We have you on the program, so we, we need to make Nigerians know what's going on. 
Welcome back. And we are back to our discussion on the Kaduna APC crisis. The party has two factions now. Uh, the opposing faction is Akida APC, meaning a true APC. And uh, we've been talking to Senator Shehu Sani, a member of the Akida faction uh, that had been suspended from the main party of in that state so after we have a uh, uh, acting publicity secretary of the party as well kaduna apc salusu Wusono. thank you gentlemen for holding on now let me come back to you senator to, to so you can respond to the question i asked you before the break uh, are you confident that uh, the national leadership of the party would look into this matter holistically well, they have no option than to look into Kaduna matter because let me tell you the, the config, political configuration in Kaduna. There are three senatorial zones in Kaduna like any other state. And one senatorial zone is controlled by the PDP. They have a PDP senator. Kaduna is the only state in the northwestern Nigeria with a PDP senator. APC is only in control of two senatorial districts, the north and the central, which I represent. And even in the central, two of my local governments, Kajuru and Chukun, are effectively under PDP. They voted for PDP. Now, if you have crisis in APC in Kaduna, how can we confront a PDP in Kaduna? A PDP, a state that has the national chairman of the PDP, a state that has a former vice president of the PDP, a state that has a sitting senator from the PDP. If you are a divided house, how can we win election? Now, all the trouble is about Nasir Erufai, because he is the one who doesn't want any dissenting opinion. He doesn't want anybody to say anything contrary to what he is. But that cannot be with Shehu Sani. I told him right from the beginning, you are not dealing with a 100-meter runner. You are dealing with a marathon, and marathoner, and that is what I am. The National Secretariat has no option than to order for an election Whoever wins, he takes the day. And whoever loses, he congratulates the winner. Why is Kaduna APC, why is the governor of the state afraid of Congress election? Why is he even afraid of conducting a local government election? Now, it shows our rating in the eyes of the public. And you can see, I want Nigerians and the world to see, the man speaking is said to represent to be the publicity secretary of the PDP, APC in Kaduna State. Now look at it. This is a man. Look at the way he speaks on TV. Will I be proud of such a person as he's my acting publicity secretary? Will Nasir Erufai, in his own intelligence and senses and with his experience, be proud of such a person? and say he's presenting him as an acting publicist. It's That's a shame. Refrain from it's casting a aspersions. And well, 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 well divide, Senator, Senator, Senator please. please. Senator, it, it would be nice for us to all respect each other uh, as far as this is concerned. We, we really uh, will uh, implore you to uh, be very uh, circumspect with that. But le let, me, let me stay with you on this, uh, because he said earlier on, uh, the acting publicity secretary said earlier on, that the National Secretariat had represent, sent about five representatives to oversee the process of the unanimous consensus they had during the Congress they had. Uh, you have written a petition to the national body themselves, and he said they were present at the time. So how do we reconcile this, especially when it comes to the faith you have in their uh, reconciling the differences in the state? Well, what I want you to understand is that there are guidelines clearly spelled out on how Congresses should take place. One is that is either an election takes place or there shall be consensus. But I'm sure even the person on the screen, you ask him to spell consensus, he cannot do it. But when you say consensus, it means that all stakeholders, all elected members, everyone who has a stake in the state, as far as the party is concerned, have unanimously agreed that these are the least that we should all endorse. But what they did was simply they sat down and wrote names. And when we rose objection, in order to divide our ranks, they called some members of the assembly and tell them, okay, take one one slot, and then you agree with us. That's the way they share. And they are on, that's their own thought of what change is all about. The national secretary, we told the chairman very clearly that one of the reasons why Nigerians rose against the PDP in 2015 is because they believe things were not done right. And now we promise Nigerians change. We promised Nigerians something different. And at the end of the day, our governors, our party members, go into the room and write names and send it to you. 
if you accept this list, we have derailed from what we promised Nigeria. And I'm saying it very clearly. APC in Kaduna State can only win 2019 election if they are united as one. And if that, if that cannot be achieved, then we are heading to trouble. Let me draw you back to something that happened you don't know. The chairman of the party has set up a reconciliation committee headed by governor of Kaduna State, Aminu Ben Lomasari, and, say, and invited all of us to come and sit down and talk. We all went. All the senators, all the members out of the went. The governor of the state refused to attend that. He said that that person is a governor like himself and he's not going to do it. He wants to have his way. He cannot have his way with Sheh Usani. Sheh Usani has never been in PDP. He was, um, his heart, his heart, his soul, his mind, his record and everything is about PDP. Now they are in APC. They say there is corruption syndrome in APC. And now they are a PDP, now they are in APC, but they brought with them the virus. And this is what we are uh, being uh, experiencing now in the state. If Kaduna State will, if APC will win Kaduna State in 2019, I'm saying it very clearly that we cannot do it with a divided house. All right, sir. And Senator, if let me hold Senator you. Sani is having a mindset against Nasuru, then what of Senator Suleiman Hunkwe, a serving senator representing Zaria Zub? He is now even speaking more than I, more than oh, myself. All right, Senator Sani. the government of Nazi Senator, mm. please let's get the opinion of uh, the acting publicity secretary at this time. Uh, uh, Sally Su, uh, there are accusations leveled against the governor as well that uh, he runs a winner-takes-all government and that uh, he's witch hunting all the members of APC that didn't support him uh, to get to the governorship office. This is not true. As I have said earlier, uh, uh, Shewo and his gang, if you look at them carefully, they have different uh, uh, from them have contested in one position or the other. Uh, unfortunately for them, they lost. Now the suspended senator hiring for the seat of governor. Please, let justice be done. How do you expect such people to be saying something positive to the governor of Kaduna or the APC administration? Let me have a reference with Tom Meyashi. He contested for the chairmanship of the party. He got 56 votes while abstaining. He got 56 votes while abstaining. Used to Barnabas. Saliso, are, Saliso, you, are you there? there? Well, oh, okay. It seems, it we seems we have. Yeah, with, just the, the signal there. Mm -hmm. We'll certainly get back on so we can. Uh, talk about, uh, we'll hear from him, Salisu. Let, let's get back to uh, Senator Sani here. Now, uh, you said earlier on that uh, uh, if the party is not united, certainly the 2019 election will uh, suffer uh, greatly for it. Uh, we, we saw what happened in, in Ondo State, and right now, uh, Kaduna seems to be having, uh, if, if uh, care is not taken. But on your own part, as a senator who wants unity, what will you do differently preparing or looking forward to shifting grounds so that there can be unity, there can be oneness, and there can be progress in the party? What are your terms? You see, um, whatever we do, our background matters a lot. I have I, I reminded you last time that I'm, 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 I have always been a, a civil rights activist all my life, and I always want things to be known rightly. And I'm not speaking out because I'm a senator or because I have issues with uh, the government of Kaduna State. I've been speaking out right from the time of the military. We are the ones who brought democracy to Nigeria. We fought for democracy. We restored democracy. We went to jail. We suffered. We were beaten. We led the protest and civil disobedience campaign against the military. We brought, down, we brought this democracy that everyone is now uh, enjoying. That we should remind ourselves. He came, the governor of Kaduna came from a different background. He was a PDP member, a B BPE, then minister, and then later when they were sidelined, then he joined Buhari's group, and then he became what he is today. So you can see where we come from. 
APC is part of the APC crisis that people come from different political tendencies, different political ideas, different political backgrounds. And now, after doing away with a common enemy, which is Jonathan and the PDP, and now we are now settling down to address our own personal issues. Uh, if the party uh, is interested in success in 2019, certainly it must have its house in order. I have always been open for talks, for peace, and for reconciliation. But we can't do it if it has to be at, at the dictate of a governor. Uh, the person who was on the screen there was telling you that Sheikh Usani was suspended. And now the national vice chairman of the party, Dr. Inu Abdul a seasoned lawyer, a former minister, who was the zonal, who is the zonal vice chairman for Northwest, said what you did is wrong. The next thing they did was to send a bulldozer to demolish his house. This is what they did. And now how can a person talk about peace and how can we win 2019 election under this kind of a situation? So I'm saying very well, please, you have been interviewing people in Kaduna. When last did you interview a person who claimed to be the chairman of APC in Kaduna State? They don't want to put him on the screen because the man even cannot speak English. Now, you are talking of this person here whom they brought here. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm not being immodest to him. But look at Kaduna State. Look at what it's supposed to present to the country, to the north, the oldest state in northern Nigeria. Now, this is the persons whom we are parading as our own spokesperson here. For goodness sake, I said it. If APC is interested in changing this country, particularly changing Kaduna State, we must do things rightly. All right. A house divided against itself cannot stand. But I can say this very well now, that the people in Kaduna are like the Jews under the Pharaoh here. And 2019 is the Red Sea. We must cross it. And the only way to cross it is to do things rightly. Congress is about election. There should be election. If it's about consensus, everybody should be involved. But you can't sit down because you are close to somebody at the top who you claim to be. And then you want everyone to take what you say or do, hook, like, and sinker. And I expected the party in Kaduna, if they are actually a political party, if they are an executive of the party, when there are two factions, you should remain neutral and try to see how you reconcile them. But if a person who claims to be an executive of the party cannot differentiate between being the director of publicity of the governor of Kaduna State and being a publicity, active public secretary of a party in Kaduna State, then you know we have a problem. He is on the screen. The, if you call him about Sheh Usain, he will mention Sheh Usain is suspended. Sheh Usain is suspended. I'm sure if you ask him to spell what is suspension, he cannot even do it. Well, Senator, please. Senator, again, Senator, please. The right Se Senator, to come Se Se and Senator, give them to come and read. Senator Sani, if Senator Sani, Senator Sani, please, please. Uh, it will be very great for us to respect each other's yeah, personalities. Exactly. Yes. Uh, the, whatever process anyone came to power is different. Uh, it's different from uh, each other's personality. Let's Please, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator, uh, for that. Now, um, sadly, Sue is back. I, I believe uh, we uh, is back on the line with us. Uh, thank you for coming back again. Now, uh, Senator Sonny just accused the governor of uh, avoiding a peace meeting instituted by Katsina State Governor. Now, you are the publicity secretary of the party. What? is or will the APC in Kaduna do to unite all members? Isn't that supposed to be the focus of the party at this time? As a party leaders, last eight months, we have decided to consult each and every one of them. But Sheo Sani not included because I repeat, he is suspended and he is still suspended from the party. So we have contacted most of those people we feel that they have agreed. They have agreed with this uh, government in one way or the other. We met them, we discussed, and in fact, in a nutshell, we would at that level. All, all right. So after that, Oh. We have begun another things, the breeding in towns, that this administration, it has been drilled, it has not been this and that, this and that. But our painful question is, if you ask them, what is our cardinal programs to the good people of Kaduna State, no one can even tell you one. And before we came into power, the APC specifically offers 
five cardinal programs for the good people of Kaduna State. One, investment in education, healthcare, and social welfare. Two, fostering security of lives and property. Oh, all right, Sa Salisu, 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 I, I wouldn't want us to derail from uh, the, the discourse we're having here right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you said there were some uh, uh, movements in, in trying to rec reconciliatory moves. Mm. Senator Suleiman Hunkui is one of the aggrieved persons who Ashul is not happy. Kidan is another person. Exactly. And Tijani Ramalan as well. Exactly. Did you meet with any of these persons? Because you said you would not meet with uh, uh, Senator uh, Sheikh Usani because he suspended we from what you said. We don't know. Aggrieved until this election, through this uh, delegate election. But in the last two months, even one month, we are doing everything with Senator Hunkui. And to General Malan, at that very moment, we met him and we have discussed lengthy to the level of understanding. But it's still all to no avail. And then what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to come and concentrate on the government that is fulfilling our campaign promises to the masses. Our door is still open for those who feel that they can have a time for discussion, but not people like Comrade Shehusani. He is suspended from the party. We have nothing to go and meet him. But all those who have agreed, we, we want to be united. We initiated just this journey with them. So we, we want to complete this journey with them, except if they have a contrary motive with us. Salisu Wusono, Acting Publicity Secretary of Kaduna APC, thank you for coming on to the show. Now, Senator Sonny, what will it take for you to uh, reunite with the APC and the Akita faction as well to be reintegrated into the party and you especially to work with Governor Nasser El Rafai? Well, if things are done rightly, and if things are done correctly, uh, there will be peace in Kaduna. But what the governor wants is for everyone to simply bow down, count out to his own uh, wishes and wills, and that can never happen. And I have said it very well, that as a state that should be a beacon of hope and inspire other states in northern Nigeria, we can't do things that way and expect things to run smoothly. And um, as far as I'm concerned, I have no objection to any talks with any person, but I believe we can do better as a party. We can do further than this. And the kind of people you parade, still I have to talk about them, because with this kind of people, how do you have peace and reconciliation? Uh, when you see a press conference in APC Secretary in Kaduna, it's always written from the government house and brought to them to read. Sometimes reading is even a problem for them because they don't even know what they are reading. Senator. And then when you say question and answer, then you see them fumbling from one place to another. Peace in Kaduna State in APC is possible, but it's only possible if we are ready to do things rightly, but not everyone to simply take what you want, hook, line, and cut. That can never happen. For someone like me, I am fully prepared for peace, and I'm fully prepared for any other thing, mm -hmm. if what we are saying clearly is people should learn to do things rightly and set an example. APC is supposed to change Nigeria, it's supposed to lay a good example. But what is happening is a problem in Kaduna State. And if Kaduna State is in this kind of mess, you can see what is happening in other states where people cannot talk. Sheikh Usani used to be alone speaking. Now I have a senator who has joined me. I have members of the reps who are together with me. I have even members of state assemblies who are together with me. But now, why are such things degenerated to that level? It's because one person feels that he is alone and everything he says becomes law. And that is not possible, as far as I'm concerned. All right, Senator Sheo Sani, representing Kaduna Central. Thank you very much for talking to TVC Breakfast. We are happy you have said that you are ready for peace, and we look forward to that peace in Kaduna State. Thank you very much.